For this tutorial you will need your selected yarn, I'm using Stylecraft Special DK, your crochet hook, scissors and a darning needle. To start your granny stripe you want to um, chain. So when you chain, or start your foundation chain, you want to do it in multiples of three. Now I'm going to just do a smaller version to make it easier for the tutorial but if you want to make something like a um, baby blanket then you probably want to chain about 120 plus 2 for turning. So you want to start off by chaining 1, 2, 3 and I'm going to do um, 24, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. So this is just going to be how big I'm doing it so that I can show you on this tutorial. So now you've done your multiples of three, you now want to um, chain two and this will make the corner. So those two will eventually go up like this, this way. We're now going to work back along this chain and we are going to um, double crochet, so double crochet in UK single crochet in the US along the rest of this chain. So I'm now going to work along this chain. You're going to skip the first two um, chain spaces which is this one and this one so we don't include what's on our hook. So you want to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, you have two loops on your hook yarn over, pull through. Now you really have to make sure that you're not pulling too tight when you're doing this first round. So into the next chain space, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. If you find that these um, stitches are just getting a bit tight, just give them a little pull. And you want to continue this all the way along till you get to the end. Now as I mentioned in the foundation chain video, don't worry if this starts to spiral as you're working, it's completely normal and as we add more rows um, it will get straighter. So I'm going to leave you here if you want to pause the video and continue till the end and then we'll start the next row. So once you get to the end of your chain, however many you've done, um, you will have the same amount of stitches plus one. So I chained 24 then I added two more chains to that so I will have 24 stitches plus the chain two that I started with at the beginning of this chain. So say for example if you chained 120 you would have chained an additional two so you would have 120 um, double crochet or single crochet in the US plus your chain two at the beginning of that round. What you then want to do is chain three so one, two, three and then you want to turn your work so that we can work across the opposite way. We're now going to work 
treble crochet stitch so in the US this is double crochet so this first chain three is going to count as our first treble crochet and then we're going to do a another treble crochet in this first chain space so yarn over insert into the chain space so when you insert into this chain space it should look like you have two loops on your hook so you want to yarn over pull through three hoops on the hook yarn over pull through two two hoops on the hook and yarn over pull through two so you have what looks like two treble crochet you're then going to miss two chain spaces so we're going to miss this one here and this one here and work into the next one so yarn over insert into that chain space again it will look like you have two loops on your hook there but you haven't this is going to count as one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so you, ha you have two trebles here a gap and then one treble we're actually going to work two more trebles into this chain space so it makes a cluster of three so yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again we're going to miss two chain spaces yarn over so miss one miss the other and insert into the next one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you'll notice that if your first row did coil then this is starting to straighten it, straighten it out so again two more trebles into this chain space and we are going to simply carry on along this whole first row that we've um, made so yarn over miss the next two insert into the one after that So if you want to pause the video at this point and I'm going to join you again just before we get to the end. If you need to, you can rewind the video in order to see what I did for these first ones. Now once you get to the end you'll notice that there's only three spaces left which is absolutely perfect because what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over again, skip the next two and work into this very last um, chain at the end. So insert your hook, it can be a little bit fiddly, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and just as we have on this end we are going to work just two trebles into this corner, so into that same chain space. Okay, so that is our first row of treble, um, clusters of treble. We're now ready for our next round. So what you want to do is chain three and again turn our work. So this time we're not going to do another um, treble um, at the beginning of the round. We're just going to leave it as one. 
and then we're going to yarn over and then insert our hook into this space that we've created here and do a cluster of three treble. So that's our cluster of three. And then we're going to work into the next gap that we created. So yarn over, straight into that gap. And do your cluster of three treble. Obviously in the US this is known as double. So you want to work your way along the whole of this row. I'm going to work up to this last section here and then come back to the video and show you how to finish off this round. So now I'm at the end of my second row of treble crochets and you'll find that when you get to the end you'll have a little knobbly bit here and what we're simply going to do is as we started this round with just one treble I know that was a, a chain three but it actually classes as one treble we're going to finish this round with one treble as well so you want to find where your top chain is from this last treble which is here so you're going to yarn over insert your hook into that top chain space there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that is my second row of um, three treble clusters. Now at this point if you want to change your colour you can do. Um, I'm going to do another row just so you can see um, how the third row would look um, and then I will show you how you can change your colour. So again once you're at the end of this row you are going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to turn your work and then where you have um, got this space here, you are going to work another treble into that space. So your first row had two trebles to start, your second row had one treble to start, and then your third row has two trebles to start and the wet, the more you work up your back blanket or the more you build up your blanket you will do this opposite so it will go two one two one two one and we're simply going to do exactly the same thing across the whole of this row now so we've done our two trebles and we are going to do a cluster of three trebles into this space so again, I'm going to leave you to do that, and I'll meet you back at the end. So as I get to the end of this round, I've started my first treble here, and because I started this row with two trebles, I am going to do another treble, and then I'm going to tie off. Now when it comes to changing colours, um, I do it a slightly different way just because I like to tie mine off first of all um, before I actually start I just feel that it's a lot um, it, it will stop it from coming undone a bit more but there is a way that is technically correct which I will do a video on um, and you can choose to use whichever way you prefer um, so don't shout at me if you feel like this isn't technically the correct way uh, this is just the way I like to do it Okay, little disclaimer in there. So um, to tie off, I am going to just pull that through again. Take my scissors, snip off, pull through and pull tight. And what I shall do to attach my next colour is just pop my hook into the first chain space, grab my new colour yarn, 
pull that through and I'll just tie that off. I'll just pull those threads to the side, insert my hook into that same um, space that I've just previously gone through, pull the yarn through and then just slip stitch. Okay, so that's going to class as my first chain. So I'll go one, two, and that makes my first chain three. I'll turn my work and then I shall start working along <coughs> that row again. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, <coughs> yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And as you're working along, you can see the difference in the colour. And you would simply carry on with this as much as you want, with as many different colours as you want. There is no set rule, you could just do... Um, one colour and another for each stripe. You could do a block of four or five and continue like that. It's totally up to you. The possibilities are endless. You can make it completely unique to yourself. <laughs>